Hi guys, Colleen here at the Walking the Resident Path. I know I haven't been around for a while, but I've been in hospital and I haven't been very well, but um, I'm back now. And I just wanted to share with you about a little bit about the next festival coming up, which is down under in Australia and in the Southern Hemisphere, which is Imolk. You can say it Imolk, Imbolg, Imbolk. You can say it Olmec. And when you say it Olmec, that means in, in milk. And that means the ewes are first coming into their milk because one of the things about this festival is that it was also an agricultural festival and it was when the ewes first came into their milk and the lambs first got their drink of milk. So it is actually um, honouring Bridget. So this is my little Bridget poppet that is going on my altar. So you can make a little Bridget um, corn dolly or poppet um, to go on your altar. So it honours the goddess Bridget. It is also about the sun coming back because it's in um, Irish mythology, it's when the Coviok goes away and Briosaeus or Bridget, who represents the sun, comes back and it's about the earth awakening. So it's all about the land awakening and about cleansing and clearing. So you can do any cleansing rituals, any clearing rituals. It's a very big fire festival. So if you're lucky enough to be able to light a fire, you can light a fire. But if not, you can light some candles and the colour candles I use uh, either fiery colours like orange or red or yellow or I use white to red or green to represent um, the goddess Bridget. Um, things you can do, you can make Bridget crosses. Now usually they're made with reeds and sticks of wood but uh, I didn't have any twigs or reeds available so I made mine with some pop sticks and some wool. So you can do that. Um, you can also uh, make bride's bread or bride scones, uh, you just google the recipe for bride's bread and bride scones. Uh, you can also uh, do any cleansing, cleaning, clearing. Um, it's a good time to cleanse your house. It's a good time to purge your house of any negativity. So do any um, banishing rituals. Um, you also can do any healing, any healing work because it's a good time to work with herbs. Uh, Good herbs to work with are very healing herbs, such as things like sage and basil. And I find them very healing and, and of course, all-purpose self-heal. That's a good one to work with. Uh, any herbs or flowers that represent the sun are good to have on your altar or to work with. So, like, um, because Bridget's a water goddess, I have a bowl of water on my altar today. And in that, it has some calendula flowers. So, um, so that the yellow represents the sun. So as I said, it's all about celebrating Bridget and the sun returning. So for crystals, I have either crystals I associate with the goddess Bridget, which are green and white crystals. So on my altar, I've got some jade and some aquamarine, but also um, crystals I associate with the sun. So if you have a sunstone, that would be a brilliant one for today. Um, I don't have a sunstone, so my other one I associate with the sun is citrine. So I have a citrine on my altar today. It is also uh, about um, enjoying the milk products, especially if you want to eat uh, sheep's milk products, you can, but any dairy is a good thing to eat today. It's also about celebrating fiery things. So if you want to eat fiery foods with chili and spicy foods, that's a good one to honor the sun today. Uh, for incense on my altar, I have a um, lily incense stick burning because I associate with lily um, with the returning of the sun and also with Bridget, but um, any citrus scents to represent sun, like an orange or a bergamot, uh, any other scent you associate with Bridget, like sweet scents like musk, uh, anything you associate with the sun or warming like cinnamon or nutmeg, so warming spices and herbs you can work with. Um, but yeah, so also um, because it's Bridget's day, you can do things like write poetry or do any healing because Bridget is the goddess of poetry and healing and blacksmithing or if you can do any blacksmithing if you have a forge that would be a great thing to do today to honor Bridget because it encompasses Bridget and fire. Well anyway I just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about Imolk or Imbolc or Olmec and say whatever you want. Um, in the southern hemisphere here we celebrate it on August the 1st where you guys would be celebrating on the other side of the world Lunasar or Lamas. Um, but I'll, we celebrate Lunasa Olamas on the 1st of February, whereas here we celebrate Imolk um, on the 1st of August. Well, I just wanted to tell you about that. Uh, 
I will show you my altar later um, in another little clip. But I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your Imonk or your Lamas or Lunasar on the 1st of August. And I hope you have a wonderful day and do whatever resonates within your soul. Bye now.